Hey what nerds, you just watch Gambit and don't you love it when something like this happens you've been waiting for it for a long time and it arrives at your door in a DHL bag and you get to unbox it let's see what it is that the box is hiding Hey, uh, opening the box, but before, a quick wrist check, today on my wrist is a SPB207, lovely, lovely diver, 6R35 movement, lovely piercing red dial that's hard to really show what it's like if you like a review of this give me a comment in the video i'm gonna move the light a little bit like that and <clears throat> let's get going uh, this was pre-ordered in december 21 there's been a slight delay in the production due to the facts we all know covid supply chain materials blah 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 but now it is here feels like a brick so let's have a look what's inside some of you might know the logo already some of you might have the watch already, mine just arrived today and here is the unboxing of a watch from a Kickstarter and Indiegogo campaign called Australis Sea Shade Pong. <clears throat> and totally unopened until now, fresh off the delivery guy's hands. This is what's in the box. First of all, what a box. Very sturdy to watch case that you can take along on your holidays and have a little bit of variety as you travel. <clears throat> Some additional straps that came along I have no idea what this is. Quite, quite the feel on this one. Oh, the first, let's say, reaction is that yeah, I can use the buckle. The strap doesn't feel very good, does it? Silicone, or I don't know what rubber plastic this is but that feels a lot better definitely usable with some fun and funky figures on the back side a light and dark green front logo in the buckle oh, this feels quite usable if you like the color Two-tone NATO, or two-piece actually, yes. That feels quite sturdy and nice. Maybe not the best color scheme for my taste, but... But I'm gonna wear, wear that piece on a metal anyway, so... Don't give a shit. And a fun addition is the famous wave Japanese theme and I have no idea what material this is maybe someone can tell me in the comments or I'll put it in the comments afterwards <clears throat> pretty <laughs> fun 
and will brighten up some watch. Definitely not this one. Australis cleaning cloth. We all need cleaning cloths and we all have lots of them. This one's with an Australis logo and the typical little bit slippery cleaning cloth inside. Then let's have a look at the watch itself. Well, have a look at that. One of the card, unstamped and signed. Oh, I guess the only evidence, evidence then comes from the order itself. Watch under the rubber band here so that it's well secured and some extra pins for the additional straps come along so what is this all about all wrapped up hopefully unharmed and I'll try to be as quick as I can about this because no one wants to see me struggle with the plastics. <laughs> Done and crap. Yeah, here it comes. Now there's a paper under the plastic makes it easier to take off for sure so australis sea shade the green variant it had some specific name i guess also some vintage green or something uh, specs specs of this piece are Let's have a look. Wave of Canagas and all that. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. Case diameter forty two stainless. 316L with proprietary ultra durable anti scratch coating on the case. That's what it says. What it does visually, it's a little bit matte. And a little bit more polished on the top side, so. I don't know which parts are treated, it says the case, or maybe it's the brushing that makes it look a little bit matte on the sides there. Salita 200 inside, 300 meter water resistant, loom is BW, BGW9, sapphire crystal with four coats of AR on the underside and bezel bezel insert is sapphire 120 clicks and is there a another plastic on top of this no so let's have a quick polish and see how that looks quite a piercing green antique green or something as I recall on the video it looks a bit bluer than it actually is lovely indices applied 
branding on the dial, love the pot on hand and the second hand as well quite nice can get a nice grip of the bezel okay let's hear what it sounds like Quite a typical micro brand sound <coughs> on the bezel. <coughs> I'm not sure if I totally like the markings on the bezel ring itself. The numbers are quite small. And then there's this double index at every five minutes. But we're gonna have to live with that of course screw in crown goes well into thread and a little bit of back play in the bezel but it does align very well Bracelet <coughs> brushed a little bit sticky at least now to begin with. Maybe the screws are a little bit too tight or something. Or is it with pins actually locking pins? Yeah. <clears throat> Looks pretty nice. Can't fault them for quality regarding that part. This much flex in there. And <clears throat> the clasp looks pretty solid, feels pretty solid. Some plastic covers there that I'm going to remove later. And a diving extension. So by pulling these two knobs backwards, get the extension. which comes in increments, not totally adjustable. Right. Uh, how does it look on the wrist? I'm gonna shorten the bracelet at some point, but for now, just to show it. There seems to be plenty of pieces I need to take out, a full clasp dimension I guess, so maybe this is around 220 in total length, I would guess. And looks very very nice and solid indeed. So here are the first impressions and unboxing. Maybe at some point we'll do a new review, review after I've worn it for a while. But at least based on this, I would say it was worth the wait. And the pledge price was 548 Australian dollars and I paid 80 euros VAT when it landed into Finland and yeah let's see how it sticks into the collection looks pretty good very nice color decent decent build quality 
and not too mad about the fact that it was about seven months overdue in delivery quite quite a long time nice little seahorse on the case back you don't see that too often either so let me know what you think let's have a chat and if necessary do another review at some point would be happy to read your comments, reactions, requests, questions, subscribe and hit the bell icon and talk to you in the next video. Bye bye.